So back in 2014, when I first moved into a car, the first major road trip that I took ended up being eight states in eight days. And the reason that it was so jam packed is because at the time I still had a physical nine to five job. But anyways, I get a lot of questions as to where I went and I have finally, years later, managed to organize very precisely all of the pictures from that trip on my laptop. So I'm just gonna go through the general itinerary and share the locations. The starting point for this trip was San Diego and the first destination was Vegas. I literally spent a total of like three to four hours there. There was a friend of mine from high school that just so happened to be there at the time and I hadn't seen them in what felt like forever so that is the sole reason that I was like I'm going to just go to Vegas and it was just like sitting at a table having a conversation with this person that is why for me Vegas was so short before I moved on to my second destination which was going to Utah heading to the Gilgal sculpture garden I think that's how you say it Gilgal <laughs> And then since I was already in the Salt Lake City area, I figured I would just tack on destination number three of being the Salt Lake City capital. And then down, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it, down, <laughs> um, it, there's like a little park and it is really, really pretty. So I hung out there for about 30 minutes and then got back in the car and headed to Yellowstone. <laughs> And so on day two, I woke up and went to Yellowstone. Now this is one of those things that I have since been back to Yellowstone a few times, thankfully, because I had allotted like a couple of hours to spend at this place and there was just, I had to go back. And so I think that, you know, maybe if you're following this itinerary, consider that and realize that Yellowstone needs to be kind of a trip in and of itself. So then for the second half of day two, I went to Cody, Wyoming. What's in Cody, Wyoming? Um, this place called the Smith Mansion? So what is the Smith Mansion? Honestly, at this point in my life, I cannot recall. I know that when I put that into my trip, I just, like, I saw it, I was like, wow, that looks really cool. I need to go here. I did some research as to like the guy that built it, why he built it, what it was built out of, what it's used for, all kinds of things. And it made the cut of things that I was going to go find. So on day three, I had made it to Butte, Montana. The reason that I wanted to go here was because there was this statue called Our Lady of the Rockies. It is the fourth tallest statue in the United States, fun fact, and it's atop the Rocky Mountains at the Continental Divide, and it is like a tribute to the Virgin Mary. And then I took off to Arley, Montana, to this place called the Garden of a Thousand Buddhas. Okay, and then after that, I went to Moscow, Idaho, which is where the giant rocking chair is, took pictures there, that lasted like 10 minutes, and then I went to Pullman, Washington, to this place called Junk Castle. So that was all day three. On day four, I started in Spokane, Washington at Riverfront Park. Now, I specifically went to this park because they had a giant red wagon slide. What? What? Yes, so that is why I went there. The park itself is really pretty, really cool. I did explore like the whole thing. I didn't just see the wagon, but the wagon was definitely the main attraction. Then I went to Ellensburg, Washington to see Dick and Jane's art spot. This place is super cool. It's just a house. Like it is their private property. So you kind of just like walk along the outside, but it's their art and art they've collected and they just have it like on display. And it's just it's something that is like so, I don't know, I've never seen anything like it. So that was pretty fun. And then I went to Auburn, Washington, to this place called Cowgirls Espresso. I wanted to go because the building is shaped like, like a kettle and it's painted like a cow. <laughs> So that was day four, and then all of day five I spent in Seattle. So me, just personal preference, I'm not a big city person, so there wasn't a lot that I wanted to do, like, in Seattle. Like, there was the Space Needle, and, like, I saw it when I was driving around, and that was good enough for me. The one thing that was really cool is they have, like, 
this underground tour of Seattle. I mean, I bet they have probably a couple of different people who do them or companies who do them or whatever. Going like underground and just underneath the current standing city was just really interesting to me. And you know, you learned a lot of fun facts about Seattle, how it was in the past and different things. So that's something that if you go to Seattle, I definitely recommend doing is going on one of those underground tours. <laughs> So day six was a really, really busy day. I woke up in Forks, Washington, and of course, while I was there, I had to go see the Twilight Trucks because, like, why not? I was there. And then I continued on to Raymond, Washington, or the town of the metal people. There's literally just, it's not like an attraction, there's just metal, like, sculptures everywhere. Pretty fascinating stuff. There was also one of the most amazing playgrounds that I have ever seen in my life. So after enjoying that for a bit, then I ended up in Oregon. I went to Multnomah Falls, of course, and then Portland. Now in Portland, that's pretty much where I spent money on this trip. There was this place that used to be a school and it was now like a restaurant slash bar. So I ate dinner there and then I went to Voodoo Donuts because my friend that I had met up with in Vegas had told me when I go to Portland I had to get these donuts because they were super crazy and fun and yummy. So I listened, I took their advice and I went and got some donuts. So on day seven, I went a little bit out of my way to do a scenic drive known as Avenue of Giants. There, yep, the trees are pretty giant and it's pretty scenic. For the second half of day seven, I went to Fort Bragg where there's that infamous glass beach. Um, there's not really any glass there, at least when I went, which by now is years ago. And then I made it to San Francisco. And as I mentioned previously, big cities, not so much my thing. So there wasn't really anything particular I wanted to do in San Francisco. I thought seeing the bridge would be cool. And then for my very last destination on this trip, I went to San Jose because I had always, always, always wanted to go tour the Winchester Mansion supposedly a very haunted place in America. I didn't really care so much about the haunted aspect. I just thought the fact that there are staircases that lead to the ceiling. There are doors that open to walls. Who built this place? She must have been something else. So I really just always was fascinated with that house. I really wanted to see it. So I went on a tour of the Winchester Mansion and then booked it back to San Diego because that was about all the time that I had left. On the way back down south, I took the old Highway 1. Oh my gosh, super scary, but absolutely breathtaking views so i definitely recommend doing that if you're ever in that area i had also wanted to stop at like big sur and a couple of other places but i just kind of ran out of time so that's that that was my eight states in eight days road trip itinerary it covered nevada utah wyoming montana idaho washington oregon and california i hope that some of you can get good use out of this or at least just enjoyed the pictures and i will see you next time yeah.